Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this TA Tech Tip, we will cover how to run a PC experiment with some experimental consideration. There are several factors that could affect the quality of the PCA result and should be considered when doing an experiment using the PCA. A broadband filter supplied with the instruments covers 320 to 500 nanometer and is suitable for most UV and visible PCA studies. Additional filters are available for use with the PCA UV external filter adapter accessory. The intensity reaching the DSC cell is adjusted using a combination of aperture control at the PCA unit and neutral density and or cutoff filter at the end of the light guide. The PCA is connected to the DSC instrument via a cable that opens and closes the shutter at the light source. When setting up a PCA method, PCA shutter open, close, or a PCA exposure segment can be used. Most PCA experiments are run isothermally. PCA experiments can be performed in the temperature range from negative 50 to 250 degrees C with the dual coarse light guide supply. For PCA experiment, use an open pan without a lid. It is also important to ensure sample mass and thickness is consistent from sample to sample in order to get good data reproducibility. Once the PCA is installed and the UV lamp is warmed up, light intensity adjustment and balancing is needed to make sure that sample and reference are under the same level of light irradiation. First, use an empty cell for intensity adjustment. Cover the cell using a PCA in a silver lid so that the two holes are positioned directly over the sample and reference platform in the cell. Use tweezers to place the quartz window over the silver lid. Make sure that the holes are not positioned over the sample reference platform so they do not interfere with the light coming into the cell during the PCA experiment. Make sure the vertical positioning screws in the light guide adapter are set to be the lowest point. In the light source, press the mode button until the level option is active. Use the up-down adjustment button to adjust the intensity reading at the sample and reference position until the desired intensity are reached. Open the shutter either from the light source, the software, or the touchscreen. Perform intensity adjustment and balancing process while monitoring the signal displayed on the touchscreen or on the trio controller. On the touchscreen, go to Utility, Diagnostic, PCA. Balance the intensity by adjusting the height of the light guide arm. The highest intensity can be reached when the vertical positioning screw are set at the bottom position. Turn the positioning screw counterclockwise while watching the intensity signal until the difference between the two intensity is within plus and minus 2%. The final balanced intensity are the actual intensity to which the sample in subsequent experiment will be exposed to. To perform a PCA experiment, first input the sample name, sample and pen mass, select custom test in the procedure, equilibrate at the temperature of the desired reaction temperature. Isothermal 2 minutes for a stable baseline, Shutter open, keep isothermal for desired exposure time, and then close the shutter. Perform isothermal for 3 minutes to get a stable baseline. It may be necessary to increase this isothermal time if the queuing peak is not yet reached a baseline. You can also do a multi-exposure experiment by adding a repeat segment, defining a number of exposures. If running the PCA experiment with an RCS, loading and unloading samples should always be done with the cell has reached ambient temperature or above to avoid condensation. Choose the end of test condition slightly above room temperature. To load the sample at room temperature, set the standby temperature to room temperature. Remove the adapter from the light guide. Insert the sample in the front and empty reference pan in the back 
and ensure to align the pen in the center of the platform. Place the PCA in the silver lid. Use tweezers to place a coarse window over the silver lid. Replace the PCA adapter with the light guides. Now you can start the PCA experiment. In this TA Tech Tip, we cover how to run a PCA experiment in a Discovery DSC. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instrument, and thank you for your interest.